Of all the places I think I've had to do my exercises in, this has got to be the most beautiful. Because this spot is on the very edge of the barrier reef and remote from man and much of the rest of the world, it remains one of the most stunning marine environments on Earth. The Cairns Marlin Sport Fishing Facilities are so streamlined today, your first impressions may have you catching your breath. It's possible to begin your day in one of our southern capitals, land in Cairns before most people have left for work, and then be whisked by seaplane in less than an hour to the waiting mothership. By 11 o'clock you can be out wide of the reef, your fishing system and crew totally organised, and two baits in the water. Our boat's fishing system works like this. Bernie is the skipper, and it's his job to find the fish. And he'll be doing everything that he does from either up here in the tower or on the flybridge. Our two deckies, Brett and Grant, are in charge of everything that happens down there on the cockpit. They're the guys who put the worms on the hooks, as we say. And as the angler, the guy who does the fishing, I've got to be down there on that deck too, ready and waiting for that first marlin. the baits hit the water, everyone on the boat is looking, waiting, anticipating even the smallest sign of action. It's about then that an energetic porpoise can give you a fright. Our fishing setup is a fairly common one in marlin fishing. Bernie up there, his responsibility to find the fish, but everything else in the system happens down here, around this chair on the deck. We're fishing two baits, trolling them about 20 metres behind the boat. We've got an 80-pound outfit on the right here, and 130 on the left. The way we've got the baits rigged, instead of having the bait trolling directly from the rod tip, it trolls first up to the outrigger clip, the line's clipped up there. And between the rod tip and the outrigger clip, there's a large loop of line. When the fish takes the bait, he first pulls the line out of the outrigger clip. That large loop of line falls back in the water, no friction on it whatsoever, and it allows the fish about 40 metres in which to swim away with the bait unsuspectingly, gets it in his mouth, gets the hook where we want it, and then we do our bit back here in the boat. When Bernie thinks the hook's in the right spot, he gives me a yell. I push this drag lever up to half, gives a strike drag, in case of this reel, 25 pounds of strike drag, 45 pounds on the 130. Bernie hits the throttles at the same time, everything comes tight, the hook goes into the fish, we make our hook up, hopefully. Nowhere else does that special fisherman's anticipation work on me more intensely than in these waters. But no matter how alert I try to be, that first action always breaks right out of the blue. Hooked up one and is on the 130. 